Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Everything Martha, that would be me. And I'm super excited that you're there. And I have a DIY for you today that I'm super excited about. I think it's so adorable. I had a whole bunch of these little uh, bottles laying around that I wasn't really using. I bought them years ago and I used to keep my spices in them. And I went ahead and I had bought, when I first got them, I had bought these little labels for them. I don't know if you could see it, but I love them. They're really delicate and each of them has the name of a spice. And they're sort of like, antique-ish looking so I really love the way that they look and um, I decided I would put these little bottles to use and this is what I came up with right here as you can see the little labels are on there and each of them has a different name of a spice and I wanted to make the bottom look like a white uh, wood with a gray grayish grain going through it and I think it came out so beautiful. I have somebody that I'm going to give this to and I think she's going to love it. Um, all the items that I use are Dollar Tree except the little bottles which I had bought in a container store, the glue and the paint. So if you want to watch how I did this DIY, please stay tuned. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and I hope that you'll be there for my next video. Here are the things that I'm using to make this project. A hot glue gun, some paint, I've taken out several bottles of which I'm probably not going to use all of them. The little bottles that I showed you before that I had for my spices, I'm going to use four. I bought three of these little frames at the Dollar Tree. I am not sure that I'm going to use all of them, probably more like two. A little cup to mix the paint some type of flowers. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Some jute or ribbon for the to put around the bottles and some floral foam. That's it you guys. That's all I need and so let's get going. The first thing I'm gonna do is get some uh, antique white paint from Apple Barrel and I'm gonna be pouring some on a disposable cup. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water because I want it to be a little bit more runny than what it is and I'm gonna mix it up really well. Then I'm gonna take one of my bottles and I'm gonna pour the paint inside. Then I'm going to move the bottle all around until the complete inside of the bottle is covered with the paint. I think I need a little bit more. Try not to pour out too much paint, but just try to pour out exactly what you're going to be needing to cover the inside of the bottle. Move it around until it's completely covered all the way to the rim. Now I'm gonna be sure to let all the excess paint drip out. At one point, I just turned all the bottles over and let it all drip out slowly. That's the first one and it's more like an almond color. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of brown apple barrel paint to the antique white that I used before because I just wanna make a different tone of beige I want it to look more like a um, taupey color. So I'm very careful to add the brown little by little until I get the right shade that I want. Making sure to mix the paint really well. And pouring it into the next bottle. And doing the same thing I did in the first one, making sure the whole inside is covered. Now 
Make sure you drip out all the excess paint. I just love the way they look. And that's the difference between the two tones. I love them. Now I'm just gonna use some Apple Barrel white paint. And make sure you shake it well. And I'm pouring that out into a new cup. Add a little bit of water to thin it out, just a little bit, and mix it really well. I'm gonna complete the same process that I did with the other two bottles. There are some really cute bottles at the Dollar Tree that you can do this with. It doesn't have to be this exact same bottle. Making sure I move it around, covering the whole inside and dripping out all the excess paint. I just love the white. Last but not least, I'm going to be adding a little bit more white paint. A little water. And now I'm going to add some black paint. Very little, because I want to make it look like a grayish um, color. I decided that adding a little bit of the lavender color would make a really pretty shade of white, grayish, lilac-y, and it turned out so pretty. I just love it. Do make sure that you blend the colors in really well because you want it to look really even. So I'm gonna keep adding drops of paint until I get the exact shade that I'm looking for. After I finished with the four bottles, I turned them over on a disposable plate with a napkin on it, and I let all the excess paint drip out, and then I hit it with the blow dryer for a little while. Ooh, I just love the shade that this turned into. It's like a grayish lilac color. It looks so pretty. And that's it, I'm done with the last one. And the four colors look so pretty together. I'm so happy with the way that turned out. Now I'm gonna get the frames from the Dollar Tree. And I'm, I've decided to just use two of them because I want half of the bottles to stick over the top of the border of the box that I'm creating. I'm removing one of the little frame um, inserts and then the other as well. So once you have the two frames clear of the inserts, I'm just going to be using one. And I'm going to put it upside down on one of the frames. And making sure I secure it uh, with the tabs. That will be the bottom part of the box. Now 
I'm gonna put the other one upside on top of the one that I just uh, put the insert on. And I'm gonna be using the hot glue gun to glue them together. making sure to press down hard so that it really has a good bond. Now I'm ready to start painting. Oops, no, first I'm gonna add two wooden dowels in the center of the two boxes where they meet. I love the way that looks. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. But the dowels were a little bit too long, so I actually used my cutters, and it worked really well to cut the piece off of the dowel. And I'm gonna use a little sand pad to make it even, and I'm gonna glue it to the other part of the box. Now I'm ready to paint my box. I want this box to turn out like a white wood with some gray grains on them. So I'm first gonna go ahead and paint it all in white. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of black And I'm gonna start drawing some lines in the black and then smudging them out with a larger brush. You can also use a little bit of the white paint to lighten it so that it looks like wood grain. And I'm gonna do that all around the box. I decided to paint the inside of the box in the um, grayish lavender color from the last bottle. I think that looks so pretty. You can barely see the inside of the box anyway, but I wanted it to look really finished. And I really like the way it turned out. There, the box is complete. And here are my little bottles and they're all dry. I love them, they're so cute. And I love the little um, label on them. Now I'm gonna begin to cut the flowers and I've done that now. And I cut the floral foam into small squares so that they would fit inside the bottle. Now I'm cutting the jute into four equal sized pieces so they can go around the top of each of the bottles. I decided to add glue to the bottom of the floral foam and press it hard into the bottom of the bottle. Now I'm decorating the bottles with these adorable flowers from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute. They look like little puffs of cotton.
So I decided to add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of the bottles and stick them to the box so they would stay in place. I also added a little bit of hot glue to the border where I was going to make the knot with the jute and I pulled really hard so that the jute wouldn't be moving around. That's it you guys. I just love the way that this turned out. It's so delicate and farmhouse and it looks so pretty. I love it. I hope that the person I'm going to give it to, to likes it as much as I do and I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun making it and I really hope that you'll be there for the next one and that you will subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Goodbye.